In this video, I'm going to show you how to install and run MySQL on your local machine. Whether you're on a Mac or on a Windows, it's the same process, and I'm going to show you on both platforms in this video. Uh, we're going to use a tool called Map, which is a package of Apache, PHP, MySQL, and more things. And I normally use it to run WordPress because WordPress needs MySQL and Apache and everything else. So it's one of the easiest way to run MySQL. The only con is you don't get to choose a version. It comes with 5.7 as of now. And by the time you're watching this video, they probably support MySQL 8 as well. But if, you if you're trying to practice MySQL SQL, and if you just want the quickest, easiest way to run uh, MySQL on your local machine, then this is the way to go. You install one thing and you get both. You get the client and the server. Even though the client is a command line, so you usually don't use it. You want to use my, my MySQL Workbench for the client because it has a UI. But this is just to install the server itself. Then you get to choose whatever tool you want to use uh, to connect. I'm going to create another video just on Workbench. Uh, but this one is on how to install MySQL server and client on your local machine. Okay. So the tool is going to is called MAMP. I will add the link into the description of this video. If you just search for MAMP on Google, it's probably the first thing that shows up. You go there. They have, they have a two version. There is a pro version and a free version. And when you download, usually they don't give you a chance to choose. But when you're installing it through the process, it will ask you, do you want to install pro as well? Um, but select, uh, unselect the pro. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to install it. But click on free download. Select your platform if you want a Mac. Whether you have an Intel or you have um, the Apple Silicon M1, M2, select that one. If you're on a Windows, do the same thing. Just install it. So I'm on, actually, I'm on this guy here. So uh, that's going to install. Once it's installed, okay, you install it. I'm not going to go through the, whole, the installation process. Just you install any application. It looks like this. It looks literally like this. Uh, if you want to look at what the icon looks like, it is this little elephant here. If you want to look at it on a Windows machine, it looks pretty much the same. It's the same icon, right? This is my Windows. This is actually a computer you see behind me. I'm remotely logged into it using my Mac because I'm always working on a Mac. I just need to log into the Windows just to show things. So uh, MAMP is this little icon here. If you double click it, you, it, will, it will start up. Uh, it's actually up. So it would look like this. And you want to see two green lights here. If you only care about MySQL, then only one, one light here, okay? It should start. So if you click on Stop Servers, it will stop both of them. If you say start, it will start both of them. The Apache and MySQL, usually they you want both, but for you and I, for this for the purpose of this video, we just care about MySQL. So just start and that's going to start both of them. Same thing on a Mac, there is a start button here. You click on start and that is going to start, start both the servers, okay? So uh, you can click on, once it starts, actually there is some issue here. I don't know why it didn't start. It should work maybe because I manually started uh, the MySQL one recently and I probably broke something. So let's look at this one. If you go to this uh, open web start page, click on web start, that will open a browser. Okay. And it will go to this like local homepage. Same thing here, except it's not working right now because the server didn't start up. But if you click on web start, it would go there. So here, basically you have information about your server and everything else. So if you go look at MySQL, it shows you how to connect to your server. You have localhost. You can use 127.001 if you want. This is a port it's running at, and this is a password in the, the user. Whenever you're trying to connect to a MySQL, you need the address, which is the IP address, right? In this case, localhost. You need the port, you need the user, and the password. For you, this one actually on Windows, it might say 3306, and let me show you why. So on MAMP, you can go to uh, click on MAMP and Preferences. And then there is a promo right here. There's, there's quite some promo there. And then uh, look for ports, okay? Uh, once you get to the preferences, look for ports. You can use the default 80 for the web server and 3306 for the database. Or you can use a map default, which uses 8888 for the web server. For Apache web server, 7888 for Nginx and 8889 for um, MySQL. That's what I normally do. That's why it shows up here like that. If I change it here, click OK. And if I refresh this page, I might need to restart the server. I'm not sure if it will just update this right away. And this is taking forever. On a Mac, same thing. You go to Preferences, you go to Ports, and you can see the ports here. 
you can use the default ones uh the default on map usually comes with uh, on mac usually comes with a map 8888 uh, for the web server and 8889 for my sql so you have to pay attention to this because you're going to connect to the server when you connect to the server you need this information and that's it that's you pretty much have my sql installed and running and if you want to test it out you can open workbench so i use workbench for my client this is workbench you just download it. if you want to use workbench just do my sql workbench on google and it's probably the first thing that shows up and go ahead and install it click on download now and select your platform click on download and there's a little button here they ask you to it's a big button to log in but you can also ignore the login by just saying no thanks and this will download uh workbench this is workbench and if you want to connect to the server we just downloaded okay you look at it this did not refresh actually so i probably need to stop the server and start it because i changed the port right actually that makes sense so this is stopping right now i'm going to start it back all right there you go there you go starting up now once it starts uh we're gonna go check it out i'm gonna click on here come to the same page now the port is this 3306 okay so let's create a new connection i'm going to click on plus icon here give it a name i want to say local mysql demo i'm just going to say that you can leave the host name as 127 or you can change it to local host i can actually spell it out so right now we're running at 3306 the username is root then you're going to click on test connection the password is going to be root right because it's telling us right here right here stating us right here what the credentials are then we're going to click ok and success you successfully made a connection click ok you get a new connection right here you click on that and that would actually open the connection if you click on schemas you're going to hit you're going to see you for you if it's the first time you install it you're just going to see the sys the, all the other ones are uh, other databases that i've actually installed so it's as easy as that. I just showed it to you on, on a Mac, on a Windows, but on a Mac is the same thing. I, I just have a little issue that I need to fix. All I have to do is restart my computer and actually it will be fixed. The server would not start up. But this is how you can run MySQL on your local machine using MAMP the really easy way, okay? There's other ones like this. There is XAMP, which is also really popular. There is AMPS, which is also popular, but AMPS, I used to like AMPS, but it's not free anymore for WordPress. For MySQL, it's okay. For WordPress is not free anymore. So this is a really good option, and this is what I suggest you do that you use for now. Okay. So I mentioned you also get the client when you download MAMP, right? So you get the CLI client. You have to download Workbench if you want to use a UI, which I really suggest you do because that makes everything easy. But just to show you where the client is, you can go uh, open the where you installed it. So in my case, I installed it right under C. So I'm going to go to C, and then there's a folder called MAMP. Under MAMP, under bin. Okay, I'll put this in the description, the full path, but remember it's relative to where you actually installed it. I installed it directly under C. So under bin, there is my SQL here, and under my SQL bin again, there should be a MySQL executable. So basically this guy here, right? Click, copy the path, copy as path, and let's go open the terminal. This is a CLI, right? The command line interface. So I'm going to open CMD, the command prompt. And if I just type that and hit enter, it's going to say access denied because I didn't provide username and everything else. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to do host local host dash port is basically 3306 dash user is root. If I hit enter, uh, local host dash p, why did this not work? Local host 3306 user root. That is inter oh I need I need to say I need a password dash p at the end then the password is root hit enter voila I am connected to it if we want to look at on Mac on so I already fixed this by the way uh, what I did is I killed the uh, uh, MySQL process so on my on Mac if you want to see where the CLI is so you go to applications map library bin and just look for MySQL. You should be able to find my series a lot of stuff here not my sql d be careful okay my sql d is the actual my sql server you want to look at my sql here so get the path i'm going to get the the path open the terminal i'm going to open a new one make it bigger 
clear. I can't type today. If I do this, hit enter, the same thing, okay? So if I wanna actually connect dash host, local host, dash user, root, dash port. Uh, my Mac is running on 889, I need a password, dash P, and the password is root, voila, I'm connected. So when you download MAMP, you actually get the client with it, the CLI client. So if you need to load sample data, if you need to connect to it quickly from the terminal without actually having to download another client, it's there for you. You already get it as a package. I just wanted to add that to the video.